What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? What Captain! We do? Yeah, yeah? Ah, yes, Sargon. A place with lots of racial diversity. Lush jungles, arid desert, and most importantly, durian trees. It makes you want to believe that Amazon is only 50% dangerous. And 50% waifu. But, what makes us come to Sargon in the first place? It began one day when Gavil received a letter from her homeland in Sargon. Saying they were holding a ceremony, for the next great chief of that place. And the sender really wanted Gavil to come. Although Gavil was ostracized, and don't want to become the great chief herself. She's still going, also bringing along the doctor, and other five individuals. And also a... Robot. Using an aircraft as a transport to Sargon. Everything was doing fine until the locals decided to shoot them down. Hey, you! You're finally awake! After the plane crash, the group are separated, and the locals who identify themselves as the member of Unectes tribe were trying to take the plane's engine and lance it too. Also, knock out Dylan the pilot in the Proxis. Luckily, Doctor, Gavil and KOB, managed to stop them. Although the locals still managed to take the engine away. They then meet with Tomimi, who is Gavil's friend and the sender of the letter from before. After some conversation, they decided to visit the temple, where the ceremony of the next great chief were being held. Except Dylan and Lancet too, they stays near the plane, and having a conversation about the meaning of life and a swimsuit. While for KOB, who apparently eats too much mushroom, which hallucinates her, and then wandering off alone. When they arrived at the temple, the ceremony was already in the process. Many people from different tribes gathered at the temple. There, they duel against each other, until only one prevail and becomes the great chief. There are no exact rules in this duel, even someone can work together to gang up, and beat the other opponent to win. Some time later, Zumama, which is known as Eunectes, came along with her tribe's high priest, who piloted the big and ugly thing. No, not that one. That's handsome. I mean, this one. With her power and machine, she managed to overpower Gavil and other competitor. Eunectes is now recognized as the great chief. She expressed that the people are too depending on muscle. She wanted to make the new era. The era of machines for her people. Sadly, machines means metal, and metal means ore, or means mines. And mines, means a dark place in the depth of the earth. Where there are certainly some originium rocks. And originium rocks means rock cancer, also known as oropathy. As a doctor, Gavil cannot let this to happen. So she went after Eunectes, to stop her and also taking back the engine they stole. By gathering other operators, beating down some locals in the process. Beach episode. And, again beating down some locals in the process. Gavil and the crew finally met with Eunectes. It is then revealed that Eunectes didn't send her people to the depth of the mines. But it was simply her people who wanted to gather more ores in the mines for her. And since they don't know anything about oripathy, they just simply don't care. After a bunch of serious conversation, and explosion here and there, everybody is now, a great BFF. At the same time, it is also revealed that it was Tomimi who shot Sour Plane down. Furious, Gabriel give Tomimi some good tail spanking. To ban. They didn't have animation for that. So now, we're back at Rhodes Island, along with some new recruits. 
although the doctor and Blaze have to pay for the plane repairment cost. Everyone is happy, and now, we can continue. Durian farming.